Hello out there, amateur radio world. This is KCAZKI, the QRP guy. I'm doing a little comparison today between one-to-one -one current balance. On the left there, I have an LDG one-to-one -one current balance that sells for $29 and some change uh, retail. On the right, I've got the DX Engineering MaxiCore 20 one-to-one uh, -one dual core. Uh, tuner ballon that uh, is also a current ballon. It sells for $124 retail. It handles 5 kilowatts. The LDG is rated at 200 pep. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to sweep them. I'm going to use that MFJ dummy load back there and I'm going to sweep them with my Nano uh, VNA. And I'm going to do a sweep of uh, 1.8 to 54 megahertz and I'm going to measure return loss, voltage, standing wave ratio, and the resistance and reactance of these two uh, devices from 1.8 to 54 megahertz. So let's uh, see. I haven't done this yet, so it's going to be interesting. We'll start with the little guy. Hook him up. Let me help you out here so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to hook him up to the VNA. Okay, and then we'll hook up, put that up there and see, can we get that? There we go, we'll hook that up to uh, the dummy load. All right, so now we're on a 50 ohm dummy load. I guess I could have used a more accurate dummy load, but we're gonna go ahead and let me do my sweep settings. It's a single sweep. And let's see, sweep. So what do we got here? All right, it looks like this LDG ballon starts out with a good return loss down there at the bottom range, which is your 1.8. And then by the time we get to, oh, I'd say, what, 22, let's put the marker right here. It looks like about, uh, uh, where's the two, here's the two, Right there at about uh, 22, I don't know if you can see that, about markers at 22.5 megahertz. And that's that's the 2.0 point on the standing wave. Uh, the loss is about minus 7 dB return loss there. That's not loss, that's return loss. Um, what that's actually measuring is, it, it, what you're looking for there is you want high return loss, meaning the signal going out is continuing to go out it's not bouncing back to the device so a very low number on return loss is actually good right high numbers are bad high numbers mean some of your signals bouncing back off that ballon back to the vna so uh let's uh hook up the other one and take a look should have done is use the dual trace and then we could have compared them but let's take a look do we get our money's worth that's the question i'm hoping yes i mean not only for power handling i know i'm the qrp guy but sometimes i use more than qrp and when i do i don't want to have to worry Okay, here we go, the moment of truth. Let's see, there we go, let's, let's sweep again. Let's see what happens with our sweeps. Ho ho, that's quite a bit better. You saw that SWR come way down on the left there and the return loss is much better all the way across the board. Now our, our 2.0, actually if you look, there's, there's the 2.0 line. This balance stays below 2.0 all the way as far as I measure, which is 54 megahertz. So at, at the marker there at 53 megahertz, it's still only about 1.8. So yeah, that's, that's much better, much, much better. That uh, is worth every cent. So that's my two cents. It's worth every cent. 
KC8ZK gives this DX Engineering a huge thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Uh, tune in soon for something interesting again. Take care, 7-3s, KC8ZK.